It's Friday. Time for another weekly update. The Bassmaster Classic is coming back to Knox County in 2023. When we hosted this event, often called the Super Bowl of Bass Fishing, in 2019, the total attendance was over 150,000 people, producing an estimated economic impact of $32 million. It's a huge event. I know that the 2023 Bassmaster Classic will be just as successful. Stay tuned for more details. The Tennessee Urban Council has certified Collier Preserve as the Bob and Louise Collier Arboretum. To qualify, a property needs 30 distinct species of trees. Collier Preserve was created on land donated by the Collier property to the Legacy Parks Foundation with support from multiple organizations and a grant from the Tennessee Recreational Trails Program. Legacy Parks turned over official ownership of the property to Knox County about a month ago. Thanks to the Collier family for this beautiful gift and the Legacy Parks and all the volunteers for their hard work. This week, the Manab Center broke ground on their Centerpoint expansion. Centerpoint offers alcohol and drug residential rehabilitation, medical detoxification, and a crisis stabilization unit. This expansion will increase the facility's capacity by 40%. As we see the substance abuse and addiction epidemic continue to take a horrible toll on our community, I'm very happy that organizations like the NAB Center and others are working diligently to ensure that help is available to those who need and want it. February is Black History Month. Black History Month has an interesting history itself. It started in 1915 with the founding of the Association for the Study of Negro Life and History, which was started to research and promote the achievements of Black Americans. In 1926, the group sponsored a National Negro History Week. Choosing the second week in February, which includes the birthdays of Frederick Douglass and Abraham Lincoln. Over the years, the event grew and gained popularity until President Gerald Ford officially recognized Black History Month in 1976 to seize the opportunity to honor the often neglected accomplishments of black Americans in every area of endeavor throughout our history. The theme of this year's Black History Month is black health and wellness. Tuesday of this past week was National Girls and Women's in Sports Day. Of course, Knox County is home to the University of Tennessee Lady Vols basketball team, who under legendary coach Pat Summit became one of the most iconic names in women's sports. And by the way, the Lady Vols are having a heck of a season this year. So we understand the impact of women's sports and applaud all of our female athletes. This week's Eat and Greet was at the Marble City Market Food Hall. Next Thursday, I will be at Dulcie's Cafe at noon. Please join me. Until next Friday, I hope everyone has a great week.